You all realize that we live in a society today that is in the process of committing what I would describe as civil suicide. Civil suicide, I say that because civil, meaning it's dealing with our civilization, the very way we live. And suicide, meaning something that is self-inflicted. We are living in a day of civil suicide. Let me illustrate it. Just this last week, I was talking to an educator. And this educator said that, uh, actually it was to the spouse of an educator, and they said that their, their spouse was teaching, not in a public school, not in a Christian school, but was teaching in a school charter uh, school, in which all the teachers were instructed that they cannot say anything negative to students. Nothing. You're not to say no. You're not to say you're wrong. You are not to say anything negative to students at all in any way. Everything is to be positive. Now, I just want you to stop and think for a moment that if you had a job and you, or you had a, a business and someday you hired a young man or a young woman who grew up in a school, and I would just assume that the home they come to would reflect the same philosophy, whether by default or intentionally, can you imagine having someone who grew up in an environment in which they were never told they were wrong, in which they were never said no to? Can you imagine that? Someone who shows up two hours late for work, and you're like, uh, uh, wait a minute, you're supposed to be here at eight. Are you saying I'm wrong? How, how, how could you say that I'm wrong? You have no right to say that I'm wrong. I want to show up at eight o'clock, I'll show up at eight o'clock. You can't tell me I'm. There's no one here who would hire or continue to employ anyone who would think and act like that. And so that's what I mean. This is an example of civil suicide. I just recently talked to another educator. You're going to think all I do is talk to educators all day long. But this, this educator was teaching in a school district in Canada. And one of the things that they have been instructed is that they cannot refer to parents as mothers or fathers. They cannot refer to children as he or she. This is a real life story in Western civilization today in which a teacher cannot refer to children as he or she by way of pronouns because it assumes too much. It assumes that they're male or that they're female and that that's a wrong, dangerous assumption to make. Now, folks, I'm not just saying this so we can sit here and chuckle about it. I am telling you this is where we live today. We are living in a culture that is committing civil suicide. And yet we have the privilege to sit with the wisdom of God opened right before us. And as we open the wisdom of God right before us, the very first thing out of the chute, right out of the chute, Wisdom says, listen to the instruction of your Father. Listen, don't despise the teaching of your mother. This will be rewarding to your life. This is how you learn to relate to society. This is how you learn to live under the authority that everyone must learn to live under. 